Vancouver Island is the largest island on the west coast of North America. 456 kilometers long, 100 kilometers wide, with 850,000 people, half of which live in one city at the very south end. The majority of the entire population live in the southern quarter, leaving the north of the island pretty much void of humans. The weather has become so mild that over the last 30 years, areas of the south have now been growing crops of olives and lemons normally found in the Mediterranean. Come explore the North Island with me. And in this episode, we depart from Twaddle Lake down to Cold River, where we turn around to go back north. Cycling big distance is the farthest from our minds. Enjoying the quiet surroundings is all that we seek. Number four, as we're riding into Gold River, go get some breakfast, charge up some things, and motor along. Come along with us. Warm up. Need to warm up. <laughs> Woo. Blackbird's been into there. Really? Yeah. Just came around the corner, he was just there. Yo, man. How's it going? How are things? We 
We have a lake coming up, stop and have lunch, kind of decide what to do from there. What happened? We were riding along and a, uh, an unloaded logging truck came around the corner and drifted sideways even before we got to the corner. So it was just lucky we weren't any farther ahead or else we would have been like foot ornaments. Today's BSA is avoid main haul logging road for the crazy truckers sliding around the road. Bears, bears, bears. There is a scat back there. That was the first one I've seen in a while, so that's 
That means they're not eating cyclists. Man, I, I don't think I've pedaled in about a kilometer. <laughs> Barry, how would you describe this road that we're on? I'm, I'm renaming it to Dream Pie Lane. Dream Pie Lane. Dream Pie Lane. Down to Vernon Lake. Cold. Yeah, it's freezing. Who do you think I am? Superman. Pasta we got. As always, I'm glad to have you along for the ride. If you like what you see, hit that like button. Better yet, subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. And don't forget to head over to saltybeardbikepacking.com for more stories about my adventures. If you feel so compelled, you can even buy me a coffee to help me create more content for you. But enough about me. Why don't you check out a few of these other great bikepacking filmmakers on YouTube? Until next time, be safe, have fun.